Hey folks, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I'm going to show you how we can use the Logic built-in drummer track and we can use our own external samples. As always, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit like. Let's check it out. Right, so I've got a riff that I've recorded here. Let's just take a listen to it as it stands. <laughs> Cool, it's fine. I want to put a, um, a drummer track on that and then I want to make it so the kick and snare will, will follow those riffs. So I'm going to go to a new track, new drummer track, just go to rock for a moment. Um, and in the normal way, I'm going to drag this over to the second bar so it's following exactly what it is. I want that to follow and guitar two is fine because it's doing the exact same thing as guitar one. Let's just make that a little bit more complex. Let's have a listen to it. This is just bog standard rock drums. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. The issue that I have with this is that we can't really manipulate the sounds very much. We can go into our drum kit and we can take a look at the different drums and we can affect them on here and we can do lots of things. We can send them out to separate outputs. But with the built-in stuff in Logic, we can't easily um, change these sounds to some external samples. So say we've got a sample pack that we've brought and we want to be able to put these into, uh, into Logic to use with the Studio Drummer. Well, we can, but we have to go um, a couple more steps. It's, they don't make it as easy as possible. So let's take a look at how we do that now. So let's say, for example, this is exactly what I want on the, uh, on the drums. This is my finely tuned track, and I've got it exactly the way I want it. What we're then going to do is we're going to duplicate this a couple of times. So that's once, that's twice. So these are just the drums. This is kick, and this is snare. Now, if we control click on one of these regions and then go to convert, we can convert this to MIDI information. Let's do that on both of them. And then what we want is to just be left with all the kick information on the kick channel and the snare information on the snare channel. So on the kick, let's select basically everything that isn't, everything that isn't a kick. Let's get all those. And then in this one, let's get everything that isn't a, a snare. That's the hard hit. That's the one I want for now. So all but the hard snare hits is going to go. Excellent. So what we want to do now then is um, be able to put on our own samples. Now we can do that using the sampler track. But first, let's get rid of the kick and snare in the original drum kit. So I'm just going to kick on my, click on my kick, bring that gain all the way down, and on my snare, bring that all the way down as well. So if we play those original drums now, we've got a little bit of the bleed in the overheads and the rooms and stuff, which is quite nice, but we haven't got any of the original direct tracks, which is what we want. So we're just going to make sure these are on the right notes. So we've got kick on C1, that's what we want, and we want our snare to be on D1. So let's grab all those, press Alt, down, and bring them down to the more usual D1 snare note. Now instead of drum kit, we're going to use our sampler. We're going to go a stereo multi-sample instrument, and in that we just need to look at our mapping. So we don't want modulators, we don't want mod matrix, synth, or anything like that. I'm just going to bring in a kick sample. So I'm going to load something into here. Now this is kick in D6. This is part of a kick drum pack that I've released. Um, we get the kick drum recorded with the D6 here and then it's recorded with five different kick in microphones and some external microphones as well. I'll, I'll put it in the description below. Um, but these come with a logic sampler instrument built into it. So you've got all your multi samples, you've got all your different velocities, hard hits, mid hits, mid hard hits, mid soft hits. And these will read the velocities that we've got here. So a hard hit will sound different to a softer hit. So we've got multi velocity samples there. And you guessed it, we're going to do the same for the snare. Go to a stereo file because in these we've got some overheads and room tracks which are in stereo, so we want to keep those uh, keep those the way they're intended. Okay, in the same way, we're going to load a snare instrument here. This is the Fat Steel Snare One, 
which comes in Rock Snare Pack 1. And as before, we've got some multi-velocity hits. So we've got some hard hits. And if we had that one a bit softer, we would have some softer hits as well. So you can see how we could easily do that to toms if we wanted to as well. Um, but for now, we're just focusing on the kick and snare. Because the rock kit that you get in this is fine for your standard kind of rock stuff. But if you're doing anything a little bit more away from the norm in the rock genre, anything metal or anything like that, then the samples leave a little to be desired. And it's really nice to be able to bring in your own samples, your own sample packs that you've maybe purchased online, and you can use those in your own compositions. And this is, again, using just the the drummer built-in stuff. And the beauty of drummer on Logic, it's a fantastic instrument with the follow function where you can get it so the kick and snare is following the guitar. It makes it so easy to come up with drum tracks. It's just the sounds. So let's take a listen to this now with our kick and snare replaced. <laughs> loads heavier and we've got more uh, control over those as with the normal studio drummer instrument you can split off into separate kick snare tracks and you can affect those in, in the usual way you can put compression or eq on your individual elements in this way you can do the exact same thing but you can do it with your very own samples you can use the, the own samples that you're putting in and it makes it so much more so much more user friendly and so much more so you can manipulate it to make it exactly the sounds that you want to have in your track all right, thanks a lot for checking it out. If these samples sound good to you, then make sure you check them out, shop.nastudios.co.uk. Just uploaded the new kick pack there as well as the Rock Snare Pack 1. Loads more going to be coming up there in the near future. Check out the Instagram as well, n underscore a underscore studios. Loads of great content there all the time. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit like. Thanks a lot for checking it out. Take care. <laughs>